announcement, patients with broken wind arriving. Hey guys, so I tried to do this level already uh, twice. Um, I failed both times, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm gonna go ahead for it again. I'm gonna be a little bit more concentrating this time. Obviously, as you can see, I'm gonna. This is a bit of a time lapse, so you don't have to watch the beginning all over again. Um, and hopefully, I'm going to do okay on this. So I'm just getting everything set up. You know, focusing just on this um, area to start with. In the other few times, I've really straight away. I've I've bought another area and started putting like the training and the staff room and research in there. And I think, to be honest, it's just too expensive and you don't get the payback from the amount of uh, space that you take up. So I've just got a little bit of research going, really focusing on only putting in the rooms that I need when I need them. So as you can see, a lot of people are asking me, you know, have you got uh, more diagnosis rooms? Have you got more treatment rooms? Um, and really only having a few doctors at a time. So what I didn't realise is that I didn't have any, or I just had the one handyman and when you don't have the benches, it seems that people just wander around vomiting everywhere so I got a few more handyman and threw in a load more benches um, and even I had the VIP coming so I, it's a, maybe a bit of a cheat but I put in, a, put in some benches where the rat holes were and then took them away. So as you can see I bought that other area down there because I thought that's going to be necessary and I was doing quite well on the money front. Um, so I managed to get in the x-ray, still very few doctors to be honest, I think I have only at this point about six in total. Um, but this new area just allows me to kind of get the space and I think I got, I got a few good doctors um, come up on the list. Um, as you can see, I had a bit of a bit of an issue on my uh, end of year awards. I lost quite a bit of money. Um, I think it was four thousand, just because I um, I think I killed too many people, or, or they were they were unhappy with me. Um, so the layout isn't perfect, but um, after this time lapse, we'll go in and we'll have a look, and uh, we'll see if we can um, neaten it all up. So I moved the, the research room down here, got another desk and a computer as well to give them a bit more speed at getting moving. Um, and also put in, a, put, a, put in some toilets then instead. I do later move the training room down to the bottom um, because it's just, you know, it's kind of in the way up there and I want to make, you know, be able to train a good amount of people at the same time. I've only got three people in there at the moment. I did have a few issues again with the game, um, and as you can see in a minute, we're going to kind of uh, trans dissolve between a couple two tracks. There we are, um, and that's because the game, for some reason, is just a bit buggy when you pick up people at the wrong time. But anyway, there we go. We're putting in a GP's office down there, and the the, the hospital is pretty good uh, condition to start with. Okay, guys, we're back now. So I let it run on for a little bit, and uh, I did a few, few moved a few things around the hospital. I put in the uh, research centre and the staff room down here, and um, yeah, I've got a nice little layout. I think my ward's a bit too small to be honest at the moment, but I can increase the size of that, and I need to increase the size of both the staff room and the toilets over here. <laughs> but I have got quite a few people who have got, you know, serious radiation and some other things, so. Basically, I need to just get them to wait for a little while, and I can put some of my new rooms in. First of all, I'm going to come along here, get everyone out of the staff room, and I'm going to move them along a little bit. Um, so I'll move that along there, probably make it uh, too bigger. Can I do that? Yeah, I can do that. I can put it along there. I can put that down there. Um, and that gives me a little bit more room in there. I can even give them a pool table this time as well. And so there we go, pool table down there, lovely. Um, some nice sofas, they can watch the TV and they can even play a video game. Um, and you always need a nice plant to keep it looking attractive. So I have got a bit of training going on, although my, yeah, <laughs> my consultant seems to have just decided that he's going to go for a break and I'm about to show you that. And as you can hear, I said I was getting better, but I'm actually, ill again so that's not great so I'm gonna move my toilets down here make them a little bit bigger you don't need them that big to be honest um, I see a lot of people make them quite large but I just 
I just don't see the point to be honest. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't seem to add anything. Um, you hardly get anyone ever using the toilets and the sinks anyway, so, you know, I just try and keep it, you know, a little bit smaller um, and just, yeah, nice enough. So lots of people asking for more money, I think it's because I keep taking the staff room out, keeping on making people work a lot. I think there's quite a lot of queues, so, well we've got no queue there. There's only one in the queue. There's four in the queue there. I'm putting you in another GP's office down here. No queue there. Okay, so we're not doing too badly. Um, there's been quite a few um, earthquakes which have worried me, but um, we've got past them, I think. So this guy's very unhappy. Where is he? What queue is he in? Um, I don't know. What's he doing? He's queue waiting for you. Ah, he's waiting for me to build a... Radiation room, okay. Um, well, let's get that emergency. We had a few of them. We'll not take the speed up to normal. So the gardening centre, a little bit of an issue. Sweaty palms, yeah, I'm ready. I can get them into the uh, into the psychiatric and they can have a, have a go at that. So decontamination, we'll get one of them in. Um, where can we fit that? That's a bit bigger than I realised. Um, can it fit down here? It can, but it does takes up, I think it'd be better there, it sticks out the end, but it looks a little bit better there, um, takes up a bit less room, I think I need to move the ward here, um, away from there, and um, yeah, I can, if I move that away from there, then I can probably fit in like the, the uh, scanner or, or something like that in there, um, because I still haven't managed to get that, so I was trying to let the money build up a little bit so we could have a bit of a play together, <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll put all of that in there and hopefully our friend who is standing over there with a, sm with a sad face above his head should be quite happy so there we go doctor's already got there um, okay he, he's obviously first in the queue I'm not sure how he managed to wangle that but you know good on him so a couple drinks machines in there um, keep everyone hydrated so how's the emergency going? So there's emergency in here? No, oh, the emergency's in here, so... He's got two more. He's got more than half the time. He'll, he'll be perfectly fine. So what have you got? You're a hairyitis. I need an electrolysis clinic. I think that's another quite big one, isn't it? So the electrolysis clinic, let's look at this. So again, it's the larger size. So what we'll do is we'll... We'll get rid of this ward here. Um, and we'll move the ward down to here, which looks like quite a good location for it. Um, move it across to there. And I can fit the door on the end here. Load of windows down there. And I can fit quite a few, few more beds in there. So there we go. We'll get a bin, you know, treat them. Fire extinguisher, and I'll get two plants, you know. But even so, they're still going to be shoved in there. I don't want them to be too comfortable, it's a hospital after all. So there we go. Um, oh, I can fit way more beds in there, so I am going to. A uh, plant by the by her desk there, and a plant in the corner. A little fire extinguisher right in the corner. There we go, she can throw stuff away. Um, you know what, I, I am going to put a couple more beds in there. So there we go. Uh, can we fit... No, so we can fit one more there, and we can fit one more there. That's a, that's an okay layout. It's not great, but it's okay. So looking at the mess, I think we need some more handymen. So none of you are any good, really, but you'll have to do. So this guy is now a researcher. He's not a junior anymore, which is a bit of a shame. Do I have a surgeon? Do I have a surgeon psychiatrist consultant? We can teach him. Yes, so... Oh no. That's a research psychiatrist, so... Let me go back in there. So... Surgeon psychiatrist. I think I don't have a surgeon psychiatrist, no. So he's almost a surgeon. So once he's a surgeon, I'll get in the psychiatrist to teach him. So... What we've got? We've got a bit of a epidemic. Uh, my reputation's doing well and my money's good, so I'm just going to declare it and oh, it does take a good hit. You're, um, okay, so he's a researcher surgeon, so you get out of there, carry on with your research, 
And I'll tell you what, I'll get in the... Where is he? There he is. He's having a break anyway. Lazy guy. So get in there, start teaching. Okay, you're going to start teaching, then you're going to turn it all off because you're going to be unhappy about how tired you are. So when he comes back, that'll be good. So what we'll do is we'll get the electrolysis clinic in here. Um, it was actually a little bit too big. So I wonder if I make it a bit smaller, I might be able to fit something else in here in a little bit of a tidier way because that slack tongue clinic can be reduced in size as well. Um, and that just gives us a little bit more size, uh, space, should I say, to fit everything else in. So, bin, plant, all the mod cons, straight in there. Okay, that's good. So, I'll just, yeah, one more. Reduce the size of you. Okay, put your door down here, because I definitely won't want to put anything next to that. Um, and I may even be able to fit this um, in a better way. But no, no, that will be, that will be, that will be fine, I think. Plant in the corner. There we go, the hairy-itis guy should be very happy to go and get checked up. <laughs> There's quite a few people in the queue for the uh, GP's office, but hopefully he'll, he'll get them sorted. Or is he just walking around in circles? Oh no, he's talking to him. Okay, so he just likes to talk to him. That's fine. Okay, over here, what else do we need? So, invisibility drug. So I'm able to treat invisibility. So what haven't I got? So... Uh, let's move these, so they can be over there, over there, over there, lovely. And so what I could do with is I could do with a blood machine, uh, ultra scan and a scanner. So an ultra scan is small, so I can fit that in there nicely, so that works quite well. Um, but I'm not sure whether that's going to actually leave me enough room to fit in something along here, which I had hoped to do. So, oh, he gave me another 2,000. Ronnie Jepson remark, what a storming hospital. When I'm next seriously ill, take me there. Lovely. Well, thank you very much. That's given us a bit of a boost on the old reputation, which you always need to get the, get the punters in, as they say. So, what have we got? So, let's put up our charges by 25%. After all, it did say we got to really make the money, bring in the dough. So, up 25 on all of these. So, there we go. I wish they'd make a much easier and quicker way to do this because it's very long-winded to go through one by one and then you always have to go back and check because you always seem to miss one or two um, and I'm not really sure why anyone would specifically turn up one of the treatments unless you know they particularly thought oh really want to really want to take all the invisibility men you know take all their money but you know that's the way the game is so you go there quickly fix that and fix that um, and the big rooms you really, oh yeah, he really needs to get in there and fix that, go on. Now they've finished that surgery, yep, straight away, hammer, 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 there you go, all fixed. I'd think that hitting a operating table with a hammer would probably break it, if anything else, but there we go. Right, let's see if we can fit something else in here, and then we'll uh, probably leave it there for today. So we've got the blood machine we still need, still need the scanner. Um... We need the hair restoration clinic as well, um, but we've got the rest of everything else at the moment. So what we'll do is, maybe we'll get the blood machine in here, if it will fit. Put it down here so it doesn't maybe take up as much room. <laughs> okay. No, I'll put, I'll put the door down here. Um, that's lovely. I think... The issue I had when I've been playing the last few times is I seem to buy the new areas too quickly, and so I've been very cautious to do that on this round. Um, you know, third time lucky, I hopefully will be able to finish this level. Um, so there's a blood machine, lovely. Get some more diagnosis in there. Um, and then I'll 
I think the hair restoration clinic's also a four, so squeeze it in there. I know it's really squeezed, but it's better than, you know, buying another area. And plus, if you have more space, then what happens is everyone just walks around all the time and it takes ages for them to get everywhere. So it's probably better in the long run to have everything all cramped in. Um, I've never really seen any stats on the game, whether it actually makes uh, makes them quicker or better or anything like that. So I, uh, I can't say for certain whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, how's our guy over here? Has he come not? Has he not come back and got training? So where's the? Where is he? So we should have a guy in there who's learnt everything. Have I? Surely, surely I haven't messed it up again, have I? Consultant? Ah, oh, did he? I think he leveled up again too quickly. This is the problem. You need a really good consultant to teach stuff. So you're really awful. So you can learn something. And then you're a consultant researcher. Yeah, you can have some more money. So you're pretty good. Come on. You teach, you teach him something. <laughs> so there we go, guys. We got him training up. I'll think about trying to teach him some uh, psychiatry as well. Transparency? Mm, I think we need some more diagnosis rooms. Um, before next time, I may well try and rejig the hospital slightly. Maybe buy another area and put in a scanner. I think the scanner will help. I think we've researched most of the things now. Let's have a look. Yeah, all the cure and diagnosis. So they're just working through the drugs and the improvements and the specializations. And how are we doing on the game? So our hospital still needs some more value. We need to cure way more people. So I may run it on for quite a while. And then our bank balance also needs to be super high. But it looks like we're keeping people warm enough, giving them enough to drink, and they're generally pretty happy. So there we are, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.